Texas 95.7, the Armadillo, Craig Vaughn with you in the studio. Time for WRCA Ranch Radio, brought to you by New Generation Supplements. Got Lehman Wall. Morning. Morning. WRCA here. Let's get physical. Physical. Lehman, take your leg warmers off. (laughs) Leg warmers off. Do you know my mom bought that little... Oh, they had the big records, and then you had the nine, the forty fives, yeah. right? Yeah. And she, I, she had bought that for yeah. me, but then I remember it going in the closet. Like she wouldn't let me listen to it. <laughs> I thought it was about. Was it too risque for? The well, show? I didn't know. It was physical. I mean, let's get yeah, yeah. animal, animal. That was the second <laughs> verse. So she passed away, huh? Not my mom. No, good grief. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Olivia Newton John. Yep. yep. She just, got to kiss. I'm a hooper. I'm sorry. For she what's got going to on kiss <laughs> John Travolta. This year, really? Well, in Greece. Uh, oh, I thought you were talking about your mom again. Oh, well, sorry. my mom. <laughs> That's a good one. Once again, this is a family friendly show we have going on here. Well, I'm just saying. Yeah, it was. I remember. I yeah. That must have been our age. Because yeah, I yeah. bet if you ask some others that are a little younger, they won't know who. It wouldn't. You know, you, when's the last time y'all watched Grease? Actually, like, seriously, about three months ago it was on. Yeah, whenever TV. it's on rerun, if it comes on, it's just on. It's like one of the ones you leave on in the background. I mean, that's just yeah, classic. It is a classic, classic, and I think every high school did it, minus the yes, risque yes, moves. Exactly. It was part of their drama club. Probably still doing it. Yeah. Oh man, back in the day, that yeah. was. That so was, Olivia Newton-John was your crush. Well, oh no, he probably know. was a Debbie Gibson. I mean. She was probably everybody's crush, I would imagine. I mean, well, with the grief. song like "Let's Those Get Physical," black tight uh-huh. pants. Okay, once again, this is a family <laughs> show. So the rodeo, so, two rodeos this past week. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, I was sad. Breast cancer. She battled that for like mm-hmm. six years or something. Yeah. Anyway, so yeah, it's for us. Those of us in that midlife crisis age, mm-hmm. we don't miss her. She was a classy human being. Yeah, really considering the parts she played early yeah. on in her life. Neat, neat person. So who was your crush? Debbie Gibson? Linda Ronstadt? Uh, might have been, yeah, Linda Ronstadt. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Farrah Fawcett, of course. Oh, yeah. Oh, there you yeah. go. Farrah Fawcett. Yeah. So now we're really... And Locklear and... So Heather Lehman Thomas. thought he was yeah. Charlie and Charlie's <laughs> Angels. <laughs> Well, that's a good show. I'm surprised yeah. y'all didn't say Baywatch and and. Nah, that was nah, yeah. yeah. That was sorry. later. That was sorry when we were like getting to college. You just couldn't <laughs> get by. What's what's his bucket? What's his name? Uh, uh, Hasselhoff. Hasselhoff. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I couldn't watch. He was it still Knight Rider to me. He was still. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Knight Rider. Yeah. See, and you know who else <laughs> passed away? The the guy, the helicopter pilot. TC. On, Yep. Yep. That DC hurts. From that one. That, yep. hurts. that one was a. That was sad too. I actually went back and kind of rewatched some of the Magnus. Yeah. Oh, cla- oh my gosh! That's Tom classic. Selleck in those short shorts. Classic. He <laughs> wore Daisy Dukes before. <laughs> oh my. Catherine Bach. Hey, Don't yo. lie. You secretly got a pair of those at the house. Craig. <laughs> That was a uh, the Camp Verde Arizona. That was a two day rodeo. There, yes, it, it was actually the Arizona oh. this year has started turning their rodeos uh, towards a two-go-around concept, which is awesome. It's a really good way to do it, uh, do the rodeo. And so, yes, it was a two-go-around. The results, first, second, are going to mirror the Lowell Gimmer from earlier in the year. First place was Mule Shoe and Hatchet Ranches, and they've already qualified. Gotcha. So second place team is Blackmore Rail 3, and uh, these guys – in kind of various combinations, they have kind of been a part of the WRCA world. Uh, mm-hmm. Shad used to be from uh, Oklahoma back in the day, and he's competed. And D used to actually live here around the Texas Panhandle, and he's Jeff competed Hall. and Chase. And, yeah. yeah. So um, now they're combined up, Blackmore Rail 3, and they'll be coming to Amarillo, Casey. Yeah, it was pretty close. Kind of some interesting mm-hmm. stuff. You you want to call D and yeah, let's call through? D. Yeah, because you guys got a youth rodeo to talk about too. With yeah, this we one, got all you? sorts of good stuff. Yeah, call D. Get them on the get them on the horn, as they say in Mash. Looking for mineral supplements that are economical, convenient, weather resistant, high quality, palatable. Look no further than Smart Licks Mineral Tubs. We know there's a lot of mineral supplement options out there, but not all are created equal. Smart Lick Tubs are fortified with all the nutrients your beef animals need, but without the waste that is common and loose mineral supplementation. To learn more about mineral supplement solutions to help support your herb perform their best, head over to SmartLick.com or stop by your nearest SmartLick dealer today. 
All right, we got him on the phone. D. Oles, congratulations. Headed to Amarillo this year. Uh, uh, before before we before we get any further, we got to know if you were an Olivia Newton John fan. He probably don't know who he is. <laughs> she is. I don't. See, I don't. <laughs> D. Man, that's bad. Oh, that's man. bad. You made me feel a hundred. <laughs> That's okay. I made it sound like you did earlier. <laughs> Dee, did you ever see the movie Grease with John Travolta? No. I did. Okay. Yeah. That uh, gal in the black tight pants, that is Olivia Newton-John. Hey, your mom would know. Okay, She's now, good. <laughs> yeah, now I know. <laughs> that, that summed yeah. it all up for you and your brothers. Hey, listen, your mom will know. She'll get a chuckle out yeah. of this. Yeah. Hey, D, we're going to run through a little bit of talking on the rodeo stuff. I'm just curious. Uh, talk bronc riding, man. What what took, what took place in the bronc riding? It looks like two qualified rides. Yeah, holy moly, man. Uh, my, my little DeWitt, he sure, <laughs> that guy's got some of the most yes. amazing bucking horses I've ever seen. And, uh, and uh, something's got to be said for, for Chase. Mm-hmm. To our bronc rider, he uh, he stepped up second day and strapped it on one. And Logan Westcott also. I mean, yes. those two guys are phenomenal. Yeah, because because so Lo- but, Logan, yeah, so Mule Shoe ended up first, and then you guys ended up second. And when you're on Dewitt horses, and you're exactly right. I mean, every one of them's gonna fire, and it's hey, oh. it's not like they ditch the night light. It's freehand. It's yeah, ride come up with a hand up and, and ride bucket horses. Yeah, yeah, and it's true old school style. And so when you win a bronc riding or first or second or third or fourth at a place where Miles brings, I'm Miles, Milo, it's going to, that says something. Right. That's, yeah, and if you get a, if you ride one of his, you're probably, you can almost bet you're going to win something. You bet. No, exactly I mean, right. Well, there's, there's, there's good bronc there. riders in Arizona. And to see absolutely to see that Mule Shoe and Blackmore, well, Mule Shoe Hatchet and Blackmore Rail Three were the only two that got them covered. That it's so, oh, that's telling you something. Oh, they're eliminated. That is telling Milo you Milo was like, oh, okay, well, we got high school rodeos. Hang on, boys. Yeah, watch this. Yeah. we're gonna bring these guys. They can handle it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it, it's fun watching. Uh, it's fun watching. I heard him say Friday that I hope these guys like their warm up horses too. Ones on Saturday are going to fire. Yeah. No, yeah. See, Milo likes it when they have a two-dayer because he gets oh, a feel for it. It's easier for the stock contract, but it's harder. But he can adjust the pan how he wants to give the guys an even shape. And it makes a difference. Absolutely. It makes a difference. Hey, let's let's move yeah. to the cow milking. The, I, okay. It looks to me like this may be the tightest cow milking times i've seen ever well you are in roping like, yes, like everybody was tight <laughs> yes sir um well that's that's part of the same deal i mean you very rarely find somebody out here that doesn't rope good you right. know what i mean <laughs> and uh everybody's pretty gritty and uh they didn't give those cows much of a chance no i mean as soon as the ropes went on it was Everybody was locked up, and that we won the cow milking. I think the first day, <clears throat> and I think we were twenty-eight, and then it was like six seconds to to fifth or something. I mean, like it was it was tight. It was yeah. nod and go when it, that cow yeah. came. Yeah. when she came, it was game on. And those are those are cattle they are used to catching anyway. I'm pretty darn excited. That you're oh, me on the too. radio today, and I'm pretty darn excited that you're going to be here, and your family will be excited because they can. You're closer to home now. Come November, absolutely. So they're going to yeah. be excited about that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You guys out there at Arizona, you you run a branding a little different. The, what's called yes, Maverick sir. branding. For folks that may not be familiar with what that event is, you could you run through and kind of explain that just a little bit. Yeah, they just they turn uh, two steers out. And uh, there's two two guys on the ground crew, and they have somebody holding their horses. And uh, you got a head and heel. One of the first steer, there's two guys horseback, and the ground crew has to stretch him out by his both front feet, both back feet, and brand him on the left hip. And then you swap ropers, and the same 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 applies, uh, vice versa. 
everybody gets a little to different participate. twist, a little different twist. Well, you do that, and that I mean, there is a purpose for Absolutely. that way of branding. I just thought that was kind of you know a unique event. There's a few of our rodeos that are starting to offer it. All right, we'll feed you good, and we'll feed that baby good, and I'll buy you a beer when you get here. Awesome, <laughs> I'll be waiting. It'll be free, but I'll buy you one. <laughs> okay. D, take Thank care, you. man. Thank you. So, uh, oh yeah, well I guess we should get to those top hand, top horse before That's we right. get to the youth, yep. right? Yeah. Otherwise, so we'll part be. of the jackpot yeah. rodeo, um, top hand, top horse, the mule shoe hatchet basically just kind of racked up things on this deal. Logan Westcott mm. was our top hand, and if you guys want to watch a young man ride a bronc. Come to Amarillo, Texas, November 10th it's through 13th. It's worth a ticket. The man is talented, I'm just telling you. I mean, he is. Top horse, and not just on a bronc, obviously, other ways, but top horse was another mule shoe hatchet, Cowboy Logan Anderson, and top horse sponsored by our friends at Horse Lick through New Generation Supplements. This horse's name was Smooth Sunnet. And you know what? I think Smooth it's that Sunnet. little black horse. Well, not little. It's not little. It's a freaking tank. Yes, it is. <laughs> Craig, you want to handle the youth? Yeah, let's get it youth, knocked yeah. out before we yep, go to about Colorado them. Springs. Okay, Casey, we got our friends at Little Hatchet Ranch oh my gosh, winning this gonna, one again. They're going to be tough. And man, that, that's win number two for that bunch of kiddos. They qualified in March at the Lowell Gimmer. Mm-hmm. I think it was in March. Yeah, I, I think you're right, March or April. Then second place, congratulations in getting to come to Amarillo to compete at the second WRCA Youth World Championship is J Bar Antelope. I wonder if they branded that antelope, antelope with the J-Bar. I mean, because that's just kind of funny. It's possible. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> Cade and Samuel Stratton, Rio J. Reeser, Cole and Cody McCauley. Those are the five kiddos that are going to come I remember and those McCauley boys. They're, that's a tough little team. And, oh, Abby Wells was top hand. Abby's from Baca Float yes. Ranch. Yes. Oh, my gosh, the kids are getting older. Yep. Okay, sorry. <laughs> and then, oh, Pecos. Top horse, ridden by Trace Lawrence off Campwood Cattle right. Company. There was a mix of new kids with some teams that we've already had, so really good to see yeah. the involvement. First and second, Casey, I just saw this. They were separated by one point. Well, I was going to ask what the points were yeah. because I— one point separating them. Yeah, that's called just getting where you, you need bet. to be. It's going to be fun. Youth Rodeo, November the 12th. 12th. 1 p.m. So if you haven't got your ticket for that, it's only ten dollars. Yeah. You guys come out and watch a really yeah. competitive, really fun. And don't fun hire event. them when you see them because they've got school. So a lot of these <laughs> people want to watch, and they'll be like, "Hey, how old's that kid? I like to put him on payroll. How old is she? I'd like to put him on payroll." You know, child labor laws are in effect outside of the state. Don't tell mom and daddy that. Outside so. of the state. Yeah, that's okay. Outside okay. of the state. Heck no. We believe in Joey. <laughs> the other one was up in Colorado Springs. Beautiful Colorado Springs, yeah. Colorado. Ride for the Brand Ranch Rodeo, uh, one of our longstanding events. Good people up there, work hard, put and a great crowd. We didn't get to go, but uh, our board member, past president Randy Norris, went up there and represented. They, they were dang near sold out. Mm-hmm. It's a big, big facility. And this is exciting because Colorado Springs, they're going to be represented Buy a ranch that there's some of these guys have been with us in the past, but it's been a little while. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's Broken Spear Ranch out of Model, Colorado. Uh, Casey, I know you've got some history with some of these guys. And the word on the street is that they are just tickled pink, like they can't be. Oh, Mr. More Allen is, he was worth the phone call yesterday just to tell him congrats. And we're going to talk to Gil, Mr. Allen, owner of mm-hmm. Broken Spear. 2009, they qualified for the world. And they came. It was the last time they've been here was in 2009. And uh, they are so excited. And I gave him a hard time. I said, well, good thing for son-in-law. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, but Gary Hall used to be on that team. And people that now have, I mean, this, this is going to be neat. It's, and if, if he ran the Melkin there, because I think they ended up, what, in the Melkin first? first? Like he ra- Mr. Allen ran the bottle in mm-hmm. Hugo. Like, he is in it to win it. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, that's he does cool. not let those boys say that. <laughs> well, Broken Spear man. won it with 50 points. Second and third tied, and they broke the tie in the branding. All right? Second and third tied with 46 points. That was Jolly SNL and Myrick Land and Cattle. God, Ephraim is creeping so, every time. He's yeah. almost there. He is almost there. So, past champions, 
second place, they're going to be on the hunt. So I wonder what made up those four point difference, and we won't get into it, but I bet you Lehman will be able to tell me. I got some. I got some cheat sheets on that. Okay. I figured you could, because fifty and forty six. There's four points in there that that someone stubbed just a smidge. Mm-hmm. But that's okay. We can maybe Mr. Allen. He'll tell you. Yeah. Well, you want to call Gail? Yeah. Let's okay. do it. All right. Looking for mineral supplements that are economical, convenient, weather-resistant, high-quality, palatable? Look no further than Smartlicks Mineral Tubs. We know there's a lot of mineral supplement options out there, but not all are created equal. Smartlick Tubs are fortified with all the nutrients your beef animals need, but without the waste that is common in loose mineral supplementation. To learn more about mineral supplement solutions to help support your herb perform their best, head over to Smartlick.com or stop by your nearest Smartlick dealer today ah we got him on the phone gail allen from the broken spear ranch congratulations gail and uh, i guess welcome back to amarillo here in a couple of months the myth oh the legend <laughs> mr allen yeah yeah oh boy oh thank you yeah what, what a blessing yeah it was really good gail it i was, hear uh, that you may be the wild cow milking extraordinaire <laughs> <laughs> you know uh it's one of those deals. If you got a good crew and you tell them, I don't like to run, and <laughs> if you bring him right back to the circle and you guys hold him real good, and the calf's been off for maybe two days, <laughs> I can get a little milk out of him. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of yeah. ran a little bit of a circle before you got online, Mr. Allen, and told them about how I thought you were the fastest person in Hugo. <laughs> you know. You know, uh, you're probably using the term a little, a little loosely, but uh, <laughs> no, it was, yeah, so, it was fun. We had a we had a good run at Hugo. Just uh, had a little trouble in the sorting and took us out, and we ended up second. But that was that was good. We had a good good time. But the neat thing about uh, Colorado Springs was we had our whole crew there, uh, Trent. Sharon's been hauling his boys to the junior high and the high school rodeo. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, they went clear to clear to nationals with them, and so he missed uh, being at Hugo, and so it was fun just to let the team have at it there in Colorado Springs, and and it was good. They we got a good, a real good crew. JT Shala, of course, ropes good. He's got a couple young young boys and a wife that uh, they basically rope every day with uh, his horses outside horses and ranch work and and uh shade at bauer over there of course shades all around cowboy and uh, rookie of the year there at prca several years ago he can uh, rope a steer he can tie a calf down he can tie a steer down so then austin kuhn my son-in-law he uh rides are bronx and he ropes probably you know we we ranch and and outside uh i would put him against anybody catching something outside it doesn't matter if it's a calf or a cow or a bull or whatever he 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 just ropes good and so it's him and then trent uh trent ropes good he of course has tied down calves and and really done everything he ropes good and so you know it was uh the rest of them better watch out, really. Well, we're, we're ready. You're going through. You're going through that. You better talk about your daughter. You're back up there, uh, or you're going to have some explaining to do at the dinner table, Mister Allen. <laughs> Missy, you know, we leave. We just leave her at home because she'll show us up. That's right. I was waiting for you to say that because at Hugo, when I saw her, I said they have just got you in the warm up pen because they know for a fact that you will get out there and show them up. Uh, Oh, yeah. But she is, Missy, oh, yeah. Missy Coon, or Missy Allen, I know her, but Missy Coon is actually on the card, and she's part of that team. And, Gail, I, right. I, um, I go way back whenever Gary Hall was on your team. And, right. And, yep. and that was yep. last year in 2009 when you guys made an appearance in, in Amarillo. Right. And it has changed yep. a bit, but that yep. arena is still small. The horses still buck. Yep. And it's an yeah. even shot for everybody. Everybody oh, coming yeah. in with a clean slate. Yep, it's really fun, and uh, we would be glad to get there. I was looking. I changed buckles the other day after Colorado Springs. <laughs> yeah. uh, 
Amber Shala had handmade those buckles, and then we we won them. So I changed buckles, and I looked at the date of the first time we made it, and that was 2006. It was with Timberlake, uh, yep, the yep. Kuntzes, Orrin, and Orrin and and uh, and his dad, uh, Von yep. Dale, and and Jake Turner, and yeah, I think Gary and I, Jeb. Uh, oh my yeah, gosh, so that way back. Fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was that was good, and that was a lot of fun. And the Ericsons, we went. Broken Spear went yep. with the San Jose Ranch there in that year you're talking about, yep. Tim and Dan Erickson and and uh, their crew, and and that was a lot of fun. We've yep. had we've had a lot of fun. Now yeah. he's bringing the son-in-laws. Now now yep. he's bringing the family with him. But I'm but Gail Gail is the 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 one. It gets the heartbeat going. It's oh, gonna be boy. fun. You, you know, and uh, I, 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 not just everybody can lead them in the grand entry. You know, I mean that's. <laughs> yeah. Oh, don't you're shortchanging <laughs> yourself, sir. I think Billy, she's the boss, Mrs. Allen. She'll oh, have yeah. them all in peck order. Oh yeah. yeah. You know, and that's what uh, need is a whole crew. They, they, they work together. Uh, and, and, and a lot of teams do, but uh, these guys they read cattle together, and they're not afraid to back up and take the back the mm-hmm. back seat, and they let somebody else. If somebody else got the shot, they they'll they'll do it, and it's whatever to win. Uh, JT is a competitor, and uh, I mean he he lines us out, and and then uh, you, oh you know all of them uh, shade. Dave Bauer, he's a competitor, and they know they know what to do just to speed things up a touch, and they're not afraid to to tell you, not afraid to you know just to, just to do whatever, and so that's that's been awesome. And well, Mr. Allen, yeah, on so behalf anyway, of everybody, yeah. it's uh it's an honor to have you back with us. It is. It is an honor. I look forward to. Oh, I've never you. met you, so look forward to that, and look forward to getting to know your whole family. Yeah, we'll be ready. Yeah, well, cool. Because they'll thanks, come packing. It'll be here. We we ran a few steers just getting ready this morning. So have a good one, okay. sir. Okay. All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Bet you. Thank you, Gil. Who you got? Top hand and top horse. Yes, sir. Top hand at the ride for the brand was Mr. Jesse Jolly. Familiar name. Yep. Off of Past Jolly S and L, and not his first top hand award. Casey Hooper. No. Top horse was uh, again sponsored by Horse Lick. And Casey Joe Lewis Dang, off of hand. Wilson Cattle was, unfortunately, right now I don't have the horse's name, but let me just tell you one thing I know for sure. He's riding a good one, yeah. whichever one it was. Well, Casey <laughs> is always going to be mounted, and he has got the best hands. I know that sounds very weird. Well, <laughs> in, in this conversation, everybody knows what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, I, I would hope so, because when, when I say that, I'm like, let's get physical. <laughs> but when you say that, and people are listening, I said, Casey Joe Lewis, he's got the best hands on him. That's a perfect tie it, back there. It's to, like, <laughs> oh, <laughs> that is a bad choice of words. That's but hilarious. everyone who knows what I'm talking about knows that it's yeah. all good. Headed, um, down to, headed down to Alpine. Alpine bound, mm-hmm. border patrol, watch out! <laughs> the Gringa is coming to town. <laughs> big, big bend, yeah. ranch rodeo. Big bend, and you uh, get there, and you got a big bend in your back because it takes a while to get there. Oh, but that, that nice good thing. historical place to go. Yeah. I like going to Alpine. You said there, that in the past. I remember this conversation from a couple of years ago. You yep. said that, how much yeah. you like going down. I there. do so, like going down there. You go back like you go through a stretch of I don't know what comes first, Odessa, Midland, I don't know. You go through a stretch of, what the heck? Mm-hmm. And then you drop off into the Fort Davis. You drop off into Big Bend, and it's a step in time back. So anybody who's a historical person, research that Big Bend area. Uh, there's a lot of history, a lot of historical ranches in there, and it, it you'll see why I like going. So that's in Alpine, the 12th and 13th. The next weekend, we'll be in Guthrie at the Lazy E for the OCA uh, August 19th and 20th. And then, Craig, we finish up the month of August. We'll be at Roaring Springs for Old Settlers Days. Friday and Saturday, the uh, adult rodeo. And then we got a youth qualifier on Saturday afternoon. So busy, busy August. Mm-hmm. Busy, Maybe busy Stephen's month. birthday, too. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> um, 
Can't say enough about all our sponsors, Bud Light. Thank you for everything that you do, New Generation Supplements. On our youth side, we've got Cool Horse that stepped up to be the presenting sponsor of that event. So uh, go support those folks if you get right, a chance. Right. Appreciate yep. it. We've got uh, on the foundation side, speaking of Broken Spear Ranch, Missy Coon was a past scholarship recipient. So you, when you go watch, you can say, oh, I can buy a raffle ticket to support the new ones coming in to fill Missy's spot. And those are now on sale, Craig. Awesome. You can go online and purchase your raffle tickets or call the office. It's fine, too. Mm -hmm. um, and then we bring that lucky box back with us. WRCA.org if you need the phone number or need information or find out who's coming up or who won last week or anything like that. Or yeah. download Get the free still, app. Still tickets available. Yep. Uh, for Thursday, Friday, and Sunday. Friday's got to be so getting close. It's, it is. It's yeah. real close. It's Not many be. left, so if you want to come on Friday night, I'd say get her yeah. done. Yeah, excellent. WRCA.org. Appreciate you guys, as always. Yes, sir. Looking for mineral supplements that are economical, convenient, weather-resistant, high-quality, palatable? Look no further than Smartlix Mineral Tubs. We know there's a lot of mineral supplement options out there, but not all are created equal. Smartlick Tubs are fortified with all the nutrients your beef animals need, but without the waste that is common in loose mineral supplementation. To learn more about mineral supplement solutions to help support your herb perform their best, head over to Smartlick.com or stop by your nearest Smartlick dealer today.